And look at this typical London weather. I knew all the good weather just that we've had recently on the channel was too good to be true for, um, for too long. Yes, it is October, so the bad weather is about to start. And here we are, it is a bit rainy here today. But yes, it's match day again. Feels like a very, very long time since I've been to a football match. It was in a Leithen, uh, for Vale of Leithen. It's Bonnie Rig Rose up in Scotland, 13-0, I think was my last game. Um, I've not been to one since I've been down in England yet, but a huge thank you to everyone who voted for me in the content awards. Didn't win anything on the night, but it was great to meet so many, uh, so many great faces and great people there a couple of days ago. Um, so yeah, this is the first video I've filmed since then. Um, I have, I've uploaded a couple since, but I filmed them before. Um, but yeah, just a huge thank you again. But today is a massive video. It's a North London derby, actually. It's not Arsenal v Spurs, but it's Barnet versus Boreham Wood. A bit more of a, uh, um, a traditional London, uh, North London derby, you could say. I know Arsenal started south, so Spurs don't like to call um, Arsenal a North London clubs, they started south of the river. But yeah, these two are proper, proper North London clubs. It's Barnet, it's Boreham Wood, it's FA Cup, let's go. Interestingly, the train that I was on terminates here, not the stop I want to. I've got to just change here quickly and wait for the next one to come along in four minutes time. But I've had to change here at Wembley Park. And as you can see up there, the arch of Wembley just poking up uh, behind this Jubilee line train here. And um, yeah, interesting to think that I'm here today because uh, the match I'm seeing is the last qualifying round before the first round proper in the FA Cup. And uh, yeah, within how many months? I don't know, May, seven months or something like that, the final of the competition will be in that building just over there in Wembley Stadium. But yeah, today is the last qualifying round. <laughs> And Barnet, who are nicknamed the Bees, their stadium is actually known as the Hive. Let's go check it out. And look at that, look, there's this um, Starbucks literally within the stadium of Barnet. Look, you can, I think I might have just got a bit of toasty on my lens. But look at that. The hive is right through there. And this actually, the only other place I've ever seen that's like this is Bali United. They've got a little sort of bar, cafe area, literally right where this part is now. And it'd give you exactly the same view of Bali United as they do here at Barnet. But look, this Starbucks has all Barnet stuff on the walls. Martin Allen, what a legend. I've seen a podcast of him under the cosh before. And they've got some uh, players who have been here in the past from Zlatan to Van der Vaart. Walcott was over there and Capello and stuff like that. But yeah, really, really cool little uh, Starbucks dish. And I've got myself toasty and a coffee. A massive thank you to Fanbase for sponsoring today's video. Fanbase have over 40 clubs in Scotland at every level of the game using Fanbase for mobile ticketing and building out their own club mobile app with no development costs. Fanbase have helped clubs of a similar size to Barnet almost double season ticket sales and increase average attendances by 25% since going digital. I'll pop a few of their awards and stuff on screen as well so you can see what a great company they are and they are transforming football clubs like the ones here at Barnet but up in Scotland and around the other around other parts of the UK and and Europe as well. Um, they're really starting to expand and uh, they're going to be getting more clubs on. So yeah, do download Fanbase, check out their website. Um, maybe you work with a club or associate with a club that needs to go digital or needs to digitalize their tickets. Maybe you are from Barnet and you need a service just like Fanbase. Or maybe you're a fan who wants to go and watch football and buy tickets. But yeah, the best place to do all that is through Fanbase. And here we go, just look at this. Starbucks there. The football is on in Starbucks, which is just so crazy. But yeah, look at that bit pre-match uh, pre football to watch before my own match, which is going to be there. And then we got Watford-Liverpool on there.
Rich, absolute pleasure, mate. We've uh, been speaking for a while. Yeah. And um, just firstly, yeah, could you let people know where they can find you on Instagram and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Richard, uh, part of the Football Trimmings. Uh, we kind of like celebrate all the things around football, so yep. kits, stadiums, print, uh, magazines, books, yep. uh, culture, and, and all, all of football, essentially. Of course, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like a nice celebration of the world of football, everything that happens off the pitch. Uh, nice. From the Instagram, which is more of the kind of aesthetic side of things, uh, some nice photos, and there's kind of the more critical side of the game in the articles on the website as yep. well. Yep, nice. I'll link all your stuff below, so Amazing. everyone go and check yes. out Richard's stuff. It's really interesting. So, my first time to Barnet today. Yeah. Could you explain who the club are and give everyone a little bit of context about the area that we're in now Absolutely. and a bit of the old stadium you were telling me about yeah, and the move yeah. here. So we're at the Hive which is the new complex of Barnet. Yep. I say new, it's about nearly 10 years old now. Uh, it was meant to move here kind of temporarily yet yeah, all these years later we're still here and yeah. I think it's more of a, a permanent thing. Um, it's a fantastic uh, complex opened by Capello back in the day. You know, the England team trains here sometimes. You have adverts for Nike and Adidas as well. And you were at an uh, older classic stadium called Underhill, was that right? Underhill you left there the to one. come here. Yeah, and... we've got a bit of um, a memory behind us, just behind us over yeah. there, the, one of the old oh, stands. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, there's a little stand over there. Stand, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, Underhill was a much loved stadium of yep. ours, really romantic, old school, literally on a hill as well. Yes. So, a um, bit of a ramshackle stadium, but uh, it, was, it was our own. Yeah, you know, of course. We loved it. And um, Boreham Wood today in the FA Cup. They are second in the conference, well. or in the National League as it's called now. Barnet are 17th. How do you think the game will pan out? You know, I'd, I'd like to say, you know, it's the FA Cup, right? There's a bit of the, the magic of the FA Cup lives yeah, on. Yeah, so yeah. I'd like to see, I'd, I'd like to say we can get a victory out of it, but it might be quite tough. We're in a bit of a good run of form. Uh, I'm beating them four. We finally got a win against Dover the other day. Um, so yeah, looking strong, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wood Army! No, be Big Bournemouth on, fans. Come on. <laughs> nice. So yeah, hopefully we can get a nice result of that today. And Perfect. We've had, some, we've had some good runs in the past as well. Right, so Rich, we are, you can hear the atmosphere now, the Boreham Wood fans over there. We were just in the Legends Bar earlier. Really great little atmosphere. How many people do you think are here at this game today? I'd say closing in 2,000, which is not too bad for yeah, Boreham yeah. considering the circumstances. You know, Boreham Wood, they've done really well. Bought about five, 600 with them as well. Yep. So. Yes, yeah, uh, pretty tasty atmosphere so far. And when we were in the Legends Bar, of course, there were a few legends on the wall, one of which was Edgar Davids. Yes. What was it like having Edgar Davids play for Barnet? Yeah, unbelievable. It was like, well, it was like a crazy circus. You know, the whole world's media was on Barnet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fair play to him. He nearly kept us up. It didn't quite work out. Uh, and the following seasons went a bit downhill and he eventually left. But, you know, what a time to be alive. Yeah. What a time to be a beat. Yeah, but not many uh, other world-class players, I guess, have played. No, I'd say Jimmy Greaves is probably up there. Yeah, so uh, Jimmy Greaves, Edgar Davids, yeah. two of the biggest names. To play I'd, for Barnet. So he could miss some score, but lovely to be at new ground again. And I know I told you about um, fan base earlier, and this is an FA Cup match, and they have actually signed up their first English team. Bedfont Sports, who are also playing in the FA Cup today, are now a fan base club as well. So, chance. So yeah, big up fan base. They've sponsored this video. Again, all their information's below, so do check them out. And it's about to be half time here. If nothing else happens, I'll see you in the second half. There we go, half time here and the train is going past. And look, you can see all the people queuing up here and the facilities here are fantastic at Barnet. Definitely facilities that um, are good enough to be Football League, but they are in the National League, the conference, the fifth tier. Um, but yeah, facilities are as good as anywhere you'd see in Scotland, to be honest, which is where I live, in maybe the Championship and even Premiership, to be fair. So yeah, they got a huge amount of space all around the stadium as well for training pitches and for stuff like that, and which and ground in which they can develop if they do progress as a club, which I hope they do. Come on the bees. Go on, Barnet. Yes! Oh! I know, yeah. 
have enough, not enough attacking threat in my, in my yeah. opinion. But they're, they're a good there. side, aren't they? They're second in the conference, or the National League. Barnet is 17th. But you never know in a cup game, you want to go for it. Everything gets turned upside down, but yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's not looking promising. The game's going on, but there's some aggro here. Look at oh, this. Shit. There's definitely some aggro going on. This North London derby is turning a bit tasty. This is it, last chance saloon. And I'm now back at Paddington Station where I think I started the vlog from today. I think I would have shown you some shots from in here from earlier on. It's absolutely massive and I'm trying to find the best way out. There's a little dog over there so if you can hear some yapping it's some tiny little chihuahua thing. But um, yeah, really, really enjoyed Barnet. Um, I thought the ground itself was excellent and I love chatting to Richard, really nice guy. We've done an Instagram live before and we have, do I have to go that way? I'm not sure where I need to go here, but um, yeah, Richard's an absolute legend. He runs the Football Trimmings, which is a really, really interesting platform for different football content around stadiums and clubs from around the world. So all this stuff is linked below top guy absolute legend and he's a massive barnet fan and i really enjoyed the overall experience at barnet but they were they were awful honestly the team themselves were really poor today um boreham wood second in the in the league in the national league and barnet is 17th and it shows even though today was a cup game you could tell that boreham wood were by far the better side but yeah i really do hope you've enjoyed this video do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new just for the just for me getting lost and everyone looking at me like a, a weirdo as I'm just walking around talking to myself into my GoPro. Um, I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Um, yeah, thank you very much and goodbye.